Hello and welcome to another video. Previously you learned what MMC and LMC meant by definition. Now it's time to see what happens when you call them out in our GDNT feature control frame. Now buckle up because this is a good one. Okay, so for now you know that MMC is the maximum material condition and LMC is the least material condition. These are applied to features of size. Now it's time to see what happens when we call them out in our GDNT feature control frame. But let's take one step at a time. First look at this GDNT feature control frame. This is what you are already familiar with. It has neither the M symbol nor the L symbol next to its geometric tolerance. This is the condition that we call regardless of feature size or RFS. This means that your geometric tolerance is the same 0.141 millimeter regardless of what your feature's size is. Let's see what I mean by bringing the same example you are already familiar with. We have the same GDNT callout applied to both our boss and whole cylindrical features. Now, look at the two diameter size dimensions. We have 40 millimeters for our boss and 50 millimeters for our hole. The boss feature can be any size between 39.9 millimeter and 40 millimeter due to its size tolerance, and the hole can be any size between 50 millimeters and 50.1 millimeters the same way. Now what regardless of feature size or RFS means is that no matter what size each of these features are, their position tolerance will be the same 0.141 millimeter. This is the default condition of GDNT whenever there are no material modifiers in our GDNT callout. This is also known as GDNT rule number two. There are two rules which I have a separate video going over them in detail, so don't worry about it right now. When you place MMC or LMC modifiers in your GDNT feature control frame, you're basically linking your geometric tolerance to the size of the feature that they're applied to. This means our geometric tolerance will change depending on what size our feature is. I'll show you how. First, let's look at our cross-section example that we had in the MMC LMC definitions video earlier. If you remember, this was a cross-section of a boss and whole cylindrical feature at all their size possibilities. This is of course very exaggerated because the tolerances are usually very small. I'm only trying to teach you the concept at the moment. I have placed my parts upside down which makes MMC go on top and LMC on the bottom. It doesn't matter which side is up or down because the definitions are absolute. MMC is always the largest size for boss features and smallest size for hole features, and LMC is the exact opposite. Now let's see what our geometric tolerance looks like when we don't have any material modifiers in our GDNT callout. Well, as I said, this is what we call RFS or regardless of feature size, which means our geometric tolerance is the same no matter what size our features are. As you can see, our tolerance zone has the same diameter as we move from LMC to MMC. Remember, this is the cross section of our position tolerance from the center. It would be a full cylindrical zone in reality. Okay, so let's think about what this means for a second. This means that both these features are allowed to be off center with the same tolerance of 0.141 millimeter when they are at their largest or their smallest sizes and also any other size in between. In other words, the size of our features doesn't have any effect on how much they each can be off-center from their true position. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Let's see what happens when we use the MMC symbol next to our geometric tolerance value of 0.141 millimeter here. This basically means our geometric tolerance of 0.141 millimeter happens when our feature is at MMC or maximum material condition. So what happens when we depart from MMC? Well, let's see. In this case, as we depart from MMC and move towards LMC, we gain additional geometric tolerance, exactly the same amount that we have departed from MMC. This additional geometric tolerance is called bonus tolerance. As you can see, our geometric tolerance isn't constant anymore, and it changes based on what size each of our two features are. This means that LMC, our geometric tolerance, is the original 0.141 millimeter plus the size difference between our MMC and LMC because that is how far we are away from our MMC. In general terms, 
our bonus tolerance is the absolute value of our MMC minus our size. You get to add this bonus tolerance to your geometric tolerance of 0.141 millimeters. This is incredibly useful when we deal with assemblies and it can save us a ton of money and many more benefits. But let's not get carried away. Let's just focus on the concepts. I will walk you through an example so that you know everything about it. Now you have probably guessed what LMC modifier does for us. It is the exact opposite of MMC modifier when using our GGNT feature control frame. This time we are specifying our geometric tolerance at LMC and we gain bonus tolerance as we move towards MMC the exact amount of departure. If you notice, what I have done is to place my parts upside down while having the tolerance zone the same. This way LMC is on top and MMC on the bottom. So we have our geometric tolerance of 0.141 mm at LMC and we are gaining bonus tolerance as we move towards MMC exactly the amount of departure from LMC. So our bonus tolerance is the absolute value of our LMC minus our size. You get to add this bonus tolerance to the geometric tolerance that is specified in the feature control frame at LMC. LMC modifier is very useful when we deal with whole features because it allows us to control minimum wall thickness of our material. Don't worry about it now because you will fully understand why this happens in a later video. I think you got the main concept though. By using the MMC and LMC modifiers, you get to gain more geometric tolerance as your size changes in a certain direction. This brings many advantages when used properly. Now, let me go over a couple of examples and show you what I mean in a way that you never forget it. Sounds good? Great. Look at these two parts. One of them has a boss cylindrical feature on its base and the other one has a hole while having two sidewalls. The boss feature is 47 millimeters in diameter plus and minus one millimeter and the hole feature is 52 millimeters plus and minus one millimeter. This means our size tolerance for both features is two millimeters. I have specified a position tolerance of one millimeter to locate our two features based on their three datums A, B, and C. As you already know, our GDNT callouts here are basically specifying a cylindrical tolerance zone with a diameter of one millimeter that our two center axes have to lie within. These two tolerance zones are perpendicular to datum A and their distances to datums B and C must be specified using basic dimensions. This is because our geometric tolerance of one millimeter is specified in our GDNT callout. Now, let's focus on the boss feature first. This is RFS or regardless of feature size because there are no material modifiers in our GDNT callout. This means our boss feature can be off center with a tolerance of one millimeter no matter what its size is. As you can see, our size can change from LMC of 46 millimeter up to MMC of 48 millimeters while having the same one millimeter of position tolerance. Now let's see what happens when we use the MMC modifier in our feature control frame. So as you know, this means our one millimeter of position tolerance applies when the size is at MMC, which is 48 millimeters in our case. Now what happens when we depart from MMC and move towards LMC? Well, we gain bonus tolerance the exact amount of departure. You can then add this bonus tolerance to the one millimeter of geometric tolerance specified in your GDNT callout. Let's see what I mean. Look at this table here. I have a shaft size on the left in 0.1 millimeter increments ranging from MMC to LMC. As you see, there is no bonus tolerance at MMC, which means our position tolerance will be the specified one millimeter. As our size gets smaller, we gain the same amount of bonus tolerance added to our position tolerance. This way, when we get to LMC of 46 millimeters, we have two millimeters of bonus tolerance giving us a total of three millimeters of position tolerance. Let's look at what this means on our part. I'll start with our size being at MMC of 48 millimeters. This gives us a position tolerance of one millimeter, which is the least amount our feature can be off center. Now, as we depart from MMC and move towards LMC, our position tolerance gets larger the exact same amount, which means a smaller feature here 
can be off center more. Finally, when the size is at LMC of 46 mm, we get to have a 3 mm of precision tolerance while still being spec. This is beautiful in my opinion because when we deal with assemblies and we try to fit this feature into a hole, a smaller cylinder technically has more room for position error which makes perfect sense. You will fully understand this concept as we go forward. Now let's go over our other part which has a hole in it. At RFS or regardless of feature size, we have the same 1mm of position tolerance for all size possibilities which is the default GD&T condition. Now, let's see what happens when we use the MMC modifier in our GD&T callout. Well, this is very similar to the case for our boss feature with the only difference being that our MMC here is our smallest size and our LMC is our largest size. If you look at this table, you can see at MMC we have no bonus tolerance, which means our position tolerance is the original one millimeter. As we depart from MMC and our size gets larger, we get bonus tolerance exactly the amount of departure. You get to add this bonus tolerance to your original 1mm of geometric tolerance. Finally, when our size becomes LMC of 53mm, we have 2mm of bonus tolerance, making our position tolerance 3mm. Now, let's see this effect on our part. As you can see, when the size is 51 millimeter, which is our MMC, we only have one millimeter of position tolerance. Now, as our size gets bigger and we move towards LMC of 53 millimeters, we gain bonus tolerance the amount of departure from MMC. This again is brilliant when dealing with assemblies because by common sense, you know a larger hole can be off center more while giving you a fit to its mating counterpart, while a smaller hole has to be positioned more accurately. Let's not focus on this aspect at the moment though. I will fully show you what I mean in a later video. Okay, I think you're getting the hang of it. Now, let's go over the same two examples when we have LMC conditions specified in our GD&T callouts. This is exactly the opposite of what we had with MMC conditions. This time, there is no bonus tolerance at LMC and we gain bonus tolerance as we depart from LMC and move towards MMC the exact amount of departure. First, let's look at our boss feature. As you can see, this time I have my LMC size on top and MMC size on the bottom. We have no bonus tolerance at LMC of 46 millimeters and we gain bonus tolerance as we move towards MMC of 48 millimeters. Finally, at MMC, we have a bonus tolerance of two millimeters, making our total position tolerance three millimeters. Let's see how it looks like on our part. I'll start with LMC size, which has the smallest position tolerance. As you can see, as our size gets larger, we gain bonus tolerance and our position tolerance zone gets larger the same amount. And finally at MMC, we have our largest tolerance zone. We have the same concept with our whole example. We have LMC of 53 millimeters on top and MMC of 51 millimeter on the bottom. There is no bonus tolerance at LMC which makes our position tolerance the original 1mm specified in our GD&T callout. As we move towards MMC of 51mm, we gain bonus tolerance the amount of departure from LMC. Finally, at MMC, we get 2mm of bonus tolerance, making our position tolerance 3mm. Let's see this effect on our part now. So when our hole is at LMC, which is the largest it can be, we have the smallest position tolerance of 1mm. As we move towards MMC, making the hole smaller, we gain bonus tolerance the same amount and finally, when we reach MMC of 51 mm, we have our largest position tolerance of 3 mm. Beautiful, right? Now, let me mention that LMC modifier is almost always used with internal features, meaning our whole example here. It doesn't provide us with much benefit when we deal with external features. Right now, just know that LMC modifier is mostly used to control minimum wall thickness when we have internal features. You'll fully understand what I mean in a later video. Well, that was it. You should now have a solid understanding of what RFS, MMC, and LMC conditions are. Let me just mention that MMC and LMC modifiers cannot be used with every single GD&T symbol out of the 14. There are some that allow you to use them 
and some that don't allow the use of modifiers. As a rule of thumb, remember that you can use these modifiers when you're pointing to a feature of size. Regular features don't allow the use of material modifiers. After this video, take a moment and think about spherical and planar features of size. The same exact principles with MMC and LMC modifiers apply to these features as well. Okay, we did it. For those of you serious learners, I have a full course on GDNT that I teach everything in a very digestible manner with many examples, tests, and bonus material that gets added frequently. I also have a free one hour webinar on our website that I go over GDNT symbols in more depth, so I suggest you to check that video out as well. Please like this video if you have learned a thing or two from this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on new YouTube content. I hope you have a great rest of the day.